what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at making paper crafts. In this project, we'll show you how you can make Adafruit Circuit Playground characters. These cutting machines are really great tools for making intricate designs out of a lot of different materials. You can make very detailed cutouts of materials like cardstock, vinyl, and even chipboard. Cardstock comes in lots of different colors, so you can choose from a huge selection. Chipboard is a thicker material that is used for backing for notebooks and boxes for packaging. So I got myself a hefty pack of cardstock on clearance, so be sure to check out your local arts and crafts store. These sticky mats are used to secure material, so this helps keep everything together while cutting out your artwork. They come in different levels of stickiness depending on your material. Setting up artwork for cutting is a process that requires a bit of planning. For example, Blinka was originally composed out of individual shapes that would be challenging to piece together. So we can combine and merge pieces together to simplify the artwork so the different colors can be layered to form the final design. Detailed patterns like on Minerva need to be created as self-contained cutouts similar to letter stenciling. And this allows the color underneath to be revealed through the cutout patterns. There's a few smart cutting machines on the market, but they all have very similar workflows. Once your artwork is ready, the process is pretty quick and easy. Newer models feature wireless connectivity, so you don't need to be tethered. Material profiles tell the machine how much pressure to apply, if you want multiple passes, and which type of blade to use. They have a ton of presets for each material, but you can also create your own. For cutting thick chipboard, we crank the pressure to the max and set three passes for multi-cut using the fine point blade. The cutting software handles your artwork and automatically separates the colors into individual mats. Here you can move and rotate individual layers and choose the size of your material. You can also rearrange objects and move them to other mats giving you more control. Once your mats are set up, you can choose your material profile and fine tune the cutting pressure by picking from the drop down menu. We're using a thick chipboard as the backing for our characters, which makes them a bit more durable when handling. We found the standard grip max work pretty well, and for a very secure hold, we use blue painter's tape around the edges to keep the material from coming loose. Cardstock is much less involved and doesn't require extra tape, just be sure to use a squeegee to secure the material to the mat. When you're ready, just load the mat into the machine and follow the cutting software to guide you through the process. Cutting thicker material requires a few passes and needs supervision just in case the knife gets caught or jammed. Cutting cardstock is like butter. You can make very intricate details, just be mindful with thin features as they can easily tear during the removal process if you aren't careful. Once the cut is finished, you'll want to carefully peel away any excess. Bending the mat while facing down is a nice way to remove your pieces and avoids them from curling up. For thin features like Adabot's antennas, you'll want to use a thin spatula or weeding tool to carefully lift it off of the sticky mat. I like to use this extra strong glue stick for attaching the layers together. Just be careful with the thinner features. You'll want to make sure your parts are in the right orientation when applying the glue. Line them up first and check to see if they need to be mirrored. Most of these shapes can be lined up nicely by squaring up the edges. If they're slightly off, you can adjust them by carefully sliding the layers to line them up. You'll want to use a good amount of glue stick, especially near the edges. We don't want them to lift, so you'll want to cover as much as possible. For very small details like Adabot's ear cups, I used a pair of tweezers to wipe it onto the tip of the glue stick. This way we don't cover the unwanted areas with lots of glue. So we put together four Adafruit Circuit Playground characters. Here we have our newest family member, Cricket, Blinka, our Circuit Python mascot, Adabot, the curious robot, and Minerva, the fashionably wise owl. You can download and make your own by heading over to the Adafruit Learning System. We hope this inspires you to make some paper crafts and maybe even add some electronics to your projects. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more crafty projects from Adafruit.